Welcome back kings and queens and welcome if you're new here. My name is Hope King and I'm the designer of King's Designs MD. Today I am excited. I'm in Canva. I'm playing around. You guys know I love Canva if you're familiar here. Um, so I'm playing around. I'm playing around with basically making your own games and whatnot in Canva or designing your own games. So I do like I normally do. I'm in my home page. I'm clicking create a design and I do have the pro version of Canva. But if you don't, some of these things you can do in the free version. I like to click customize size and I am going to create 8.5 by 8.5. I'm going to change it by hitting inches. All right, so I've changed that to inches and I'm going to do 8.5 and change this again to 8.5 and create a new design. Now what I'm going to do is go to elements and I'm going to type in tic-tac-toe. You can see I've already typed it in before. And this gets you some tic-tac-toe designs. Now, there is a free one here. Um, the initial one that I picked was this one. Just playing around with it to see what I can get. <clears throat> but you can choose the free one. You see there are free versions available. Now, I can expand this out. Okay. I don't know why this doesn't want to expand for me right now. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to expand this out and then I'm going to center it. So essentially it has covered the whole page. Now if you saw me clicking over here, what I was trying to do is to right click it to see if it was going to let me set it as the background and it didn't let me do that. But that's an option sometimes when you want to have something fill up your whole page. Now, <clears throat> you can leave it like this or you can change some things. So, what I can do is change my lines. And I'm sorry for moving too fast for people. I went up here to the color option and went over here to my color. And now you can change your lines to red. If this is all you want to do, that's fine. Or you can move it over and you can change your background color as well. So I'm going to change my background color and I'm going to say pink and it gives you the options to choose from a variety of pinks. So I'll do that and then move this back into place. So this gives you your own custom tic-tac-toe board. Now you can do something awesome like you can put your name on there or you can put a design on there. So let's see. King. So I can lighten this up if I wanted to. What I can do, if you see this um, checkerboard basically in the background, this lets you change your transparency. So I just picked a, <laughs> a number. So I can take it down to 21. Um, I can expand it. I can rotate it. And I can put it across my board. Now you can do it however you want, or if you don't want to use a name, you can go back to elements. And you guys know I use my crown on a lot of things. So I'll put crown. Now I won't be too picky right now, so I'll just go with this one. And again, I can take the transparency down. I can type 20 this time and know that that's my watermark. <clears throat> And put it across my board now I can go up here to position and I can pick center and I can pick middle so that to make sure it gets it where it needs to be um, and if you decide hey I don't like this look you can move some things around or change some things around like I probably um, would do a basic board and I like the color purple so my board might look something like this and so this could be my own custom board. Now, um, you can print this out. You can put it on a lot of things. You can sublimate this on a tile. You could do it however you wanted to. You guys know a few years ago, the drunk tic-tac-toe was popular. So you could put crowns on one thing, uh, maybe a female crown on one, a male crown on another, or a crown versus a tiara or whatever. 
um, or you can put X's and O's, you can put lips and hearts, you can do whatever you want it to. Um, you could print this out, you can send it to your Cricut, you can use it with vinyl, you can use it with water slider, you can use it with sublimation. So those are just some ideas to play around and be able to make game boards in Canva. So I hope this helps somebody. This is just something fun and quick to do and design today. If you do not know how to print from Canva, you click this button up top, share, you click download, and this will let you download your file. So if you want to send it to Cricut, if you have the upgraded version, the Pro, you can go to Cricut, you can save it as an SVG, and that will let it cut in Cricut, but you can also save it as a PNG. And you guys know in Cricut, you can clean up your background so you can make it a cut file. Now, what you probably won't get is depending on what elements you choose, you may not get it or it's going to come out as a total different cut file. So you have to choose some of those options. Um, if you guys want to see that, we can play around with it. Just let me know. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys, um, if you don't have anything meaningful to say, drop a crown in the description. <laughs> drop a crown in the comment box just so I know you are here. Have a great day and Happy New Year.